Hello everyone, I am Ram Vishnu Surya Jannu. I am pursuing my master's degree at IIT Kanpur in Aerospace Engineering Department. My specialization is propulsion. In this video, I will share the details about IIT Kanpur and the admission process. First, let's start with the campus. IIT Kanpur, it is located in Uttar Pradesh state. IIT Kanpur is a widely spread campus with 110 acre land. This institute is a public technical institute. In accordance with the Institutes of Technology Act, the Indian, Inst the Indian government designated it as an institute of national importance. It was established in 1959 and is ranked among the most prestigious academic institutions in India. The NIRF ranking of this institute in 2023 is as follows. It secured 5th place in overall conduct, 6th place in research, 4th place in engineering and 1st in innovation. So number of intake students in each program will be shared in the following slides as we go on. Let's talk about the aerospace department first. So the Department of Aerospace Engineering was established about 40 years ago. It was called the Aeronautical Engineering Department until 1991. Later, it's renamed into Aerospace Engineering Department. There are a total of 31 faculty members allocated for specially Aerospace Department in which only four of the faculty will be shared with Sustainable Energy Engineering Department. So there are a total of three programs offered at IIT Kanpur. One is MTech, Masters of Technology, then MSR, then PhD. MSR is actually a choice of two, I mean, option of two. It's, uh, I mean, it can be chosen for MS by research and MS by project. So number of intake students in each program in year 2023 is as follows. There are a total of 92 students in MTech, eight students in MSR and 19 students in PhD. There are six specializations in aerospace department, namely aerodynamics, propulsion, flight mechanics, structures, computational mechanics, aerothermodynamics and thermal sciences. In addition to the long running premier MTech program in aerospace engineering, the department has launched a new MTech program in unmanned aerial systems engineering to give specialized training in drone unmanned aerial systems. This is the first institute to launch such a program in India. So you can choose either any one of the traditional uh, specializations, which are the first four aerodynamics, propulsion, flight mechanics and structures, or you can choose any interdisciplinary course uh, specialization such as computational mechanics or aerothermodynamics, or else you can also go for separate MTech program in UAV, I mean, U Unmanned Aerial Systems at IIT Kanpur. So, however, there is a total different uh, process to apply for either the six or that one. I mean, if you want to apply to Unmanned Aerial Systems, there is separate uh, admission form into Unmanned Aerial Systems, while you can apply for all these six specializations through a single admission form in MTech department. So the required cutoff score to get into IIT Kanpur is as follows. This data is based upon the 2023 admissions. OC has to have at least 500. EWS and BC can get in, uh, into IIT Kanpur with, uh, with a 350 score. SEST and 250 and plus. So now let's discuss the admission process at IIT Kanpur. There are a total of four types of admission process at IIT Kanpur. The first is MTech through GATE. So you write GATE exam, you get the scorecard uh, and checking with the cutoff score. If you are uh, if you are uh, if your score is greater than the cutoff score, then you can probably have the admission at IIT Kanpur. That's a well-known process. And second, if you are from IIT, 
and your CPI is eight and above, then you can directly uh, pursue masters at IIT Kanpur without any, without clearing any entrance exams such as GATE. So next is MSR. MSR varies from two to three years. So it can, it depends on your project and your guide. I mean, your supervisor. So it can be completed within two years of your admission after your admission, or it can last up to three years because of the difficulty and toughness of the pro uh, problem statement and everything. So this MSR admissions uh, take place twice every year. We re require a valid gate score and you, one must be attending in an interview with the faculty of IIT Kanpur for the selection process. So there is a total, uh, I mean, there is a panel sitting with the IIT Kanpur professors and you'll be having an interview. They'll test your fundamentals. They'll, and then they'll, uh, they'll allocate you to a supervisor or if you are choosing uh, masters by project, you get to choose the supervisor at the end of your first semester. And the fourth one is admissions into PhD, for which one must at least have 7.5 CPI in the in his bachelor's, in his or her bachelor's. Eight CPI would be much preferable for the interview and the selection process. The documents required for the admission at IIT Kanpur are the first one is offer letter okay so let's say let's say that you have uh, accepted an offer from iit kanpur in the court cope portal coap then you'll receive a mail regarding the admission process i mean admission yeah regarding an admission through mail from iit kanpur and in the mail you'll receive an offer letter and the required documents and all, everything so then you have to pay the fee at IIT Kanpur website and just uh, have it for your future references. Then we need a receipt of online fee payment through which, I mean, the online fee payment which you have done for the accepting, for accepting the offer letter. Next, we need degree certificate or provisional certificate. Let's say you have completed your Ba bachelor's in 2023 and you appeared in gay 2023 exam and you got qualified so you won't be having the degree certificate yet so the college gives you the flexibility to uh, present your provisional degree certificate to the college then the marks sheet or the uh, Great, great card of the qualifying examinations, which is your bachelor's. The 10th school certificate is required. The uh, caste certificate is needed if one belongs to SEST caste. The certificate format will be given in the IIT Kanpur website. People belonging to EWS and OBC must have the OBC NCL certificate or EWS certificate provided by the Mandal Revenue Officer. I suggest you, everyone to have the CAS certificates well in advance because you no need to uh, worry about all these things right at the time of admission. So the scorecard and admission, admit card of the respective entrance exam is required such as GATE or JRF or any other exam if you are writing it. So the no objection certificate is also uh, required if you if you are already working at a company and you want to pursue masters at IIT Kanpur. So you have to have the no objection objection certificate from your working company as well. Financial assistance ship. So financial support uh, is available to the regular students even in M Tech, MSR, and PhD programs. For MTech and MSR students, uh, you will be paid a total of 12,400 rupees every month for 22 months in two years of your span at IIT Kanpur. You should be working eight hours per week. However, it's uh, totally flexible because uh, if you're 
it depends on your guide and and such other factors for phd students the corresponding financial support amounts to 37000 for first two years and thereafter it is raised to 42000 for the other three years one can also apply other scholarships apart from the institute assistance ships such as pmrf or any other things there are a total there are total of 16 labs dedicated to only aerospace engineering department we have high speed and low speed aerodynamics lab propulsion lab combustion lab advanced combustion and acoustics lab fire lab computational propulsion lab structures and advanced materials characterization lab structural analysis lab aero modeling lab and study aerodynamics lab helicopter and vertical takeoff and landing lab cfd lab high performance computing lab uh, fluid mechanics lab and flight laboratory and we have uh, the most calibrated and most accurate wind tunnel facility at iit kanpur apart from that we have a total of uh, 6 to 10 wind tunnels at iit kanpur for uh, the research purpose and further future st- uh, references let's talk about the placements and packages at iit k the these companies visited i uh, these companies visit iit kanpur more often and the highest was uh, for the math work uh, which which was uh, for 18 lpa and the prerequisites required if you are choosing aerodynamics propulsion or atts or that's aero thermodynamics and thermal sciences then you should be having at least basic knowledge or uh, yeah you should be having basic knowledge on fluent open form matlab and basics of coding whichever the coding language might be like python or c c++ anything it might be you must have basics at least in such platforms if you are choosing flight mechanics you have to have basics in coding any program language and you have to have a little bit basics in matlab i would say you might complete the on ramp program which is provided by the matlab itself so it will be very helpful for you guys uh, to carry on with the matlab software so if you are pers- uh, pursuing structures and computational mechanics ansys would be very helpful abacus matlab and any other design software such as autocad catia or solidworks would be very helpful so i suggest everyone who are who want to pursue masters at iit kanpur to have a minimum basics of such uh, programming softwares or uh, other softwares and i would suggest one extra one or two extra software such as latex and word and excel you guys uh, try to have very basic knowledge at least basic knowledge in these because you when you write a research paper you if you go to the word and just write the research paper it doesn't look professional uh, professional if you choose latex and all you will be much your document will be much more secured and uh, yeah so there are uh, okay suggestions there are four courses in the first semester no matter what specialization you are in at least two courses are compulsory in every specialization so let's say someone got into aerodynamics but want to pursue propulsion at iit kanpur so the courses in propulsion and aerodynamics are so similar the first two are mathematics and applied compressible flows which are common for both specializations and there are other two courses in propulsion which are compulsory then you can uh, have few electives in the second semester and choose aerodynamic courses and you can go with you can go work on the aerodynamic problem statements for your project so i i suggest like not to be worried that much with whatever the branch you got so uh, if you are like the similar sister branches or similar branches are aerodynamics propulsion and atts aero thermodynamics and thermal sciences these three whichever you get just uh, take it off and you'll be having electives and compulsory courses of course but you can choose whatever the most suitable problem statement you want to work on and if you are 
and the other three you can get into flight mechanics or structures and comp- computation mechanics are also similar branches as i mentioned earlier matlab and coding ba- uh, coding is a real basic necessity at iit kanpur because you'll be, you'll keep working on the such platforms i am able to crack gate in the first attempt because of the coaching i took at uh, gate aerospace academy i truly am grateful for my course instructors ashok sir and kaushal ja sir for consistently analyzing my performances in the tests and correcting my mistakes patiently so they taught me everything from fundamentals so i had a very good knowledge of what i am learning and why i am learning that so frequent uh, one on one meetings with my instructors allowed me to ask many doubts and uh, regarding the subjects no matter how silly and small the subject uh, doubts were but they all uh, always were there for me and explained it very clearly they always supported me and had my back no matter what the time it was they always picked my calls and replied to my messages i thank you sir here is a little information regarding the academy if if anyone wants to pursue masters or a gate if if uh, anyone wants to uh, crack gate so the gate aerospace academy is solely dedicated to gate aerospace engineering there are four programs offered by uh, the academy the first is classroom program and second is postal program third is online program and fourth is test series program for most of the people uh going to I- iit is almost a dream so for all those who share this dream i suggest you to achieve it by the gate aerospace academy support one can follow subscribe to them on instagram youtube and other social media platforms and i suggest you guys to join the telegram channel and get updates regarding the post and job regarding the aerospace academy or uh, aerospace engineering jobs and all yeah thank you